Join us as we go on the road in a country many claim as their homeland, but only few call home. An ancient land that has stood the test of time, yet still surprises with timeless treasures. A landlocked nation with a proud history, preparing to enter a wired world. Join us as we journey through Armenia. We begin in the capital Yerevan. After 23 years of independence, there's evidence that this tiny nation is finally starting to shake off its Soviet past. The signs along Lenin Avenue have been changed to Mashtots Avenue, a 5th century monk who invented the Armenian alphabet. You see more Western luxuries, more traffic, and more access to technology. At a new cafe, a younger, well-connected generation gathers on a Saturday night, most of them students, here to hang out, play games, and relax. In a novel concept, drinks and snacks are free. You just pay for your time spent. During the week, it's a place to do work, hold meetings, and share ideas. I think our generation is very transitional, let's say, generation. The cafe owner is only 29 years old, but she still remembers the hardships of the 90s, living with blackouts, no heat, and little opportunity. I, I see such a big gap even between my generation and uh, nowadays kids. And they are 18, but they do uh, have their business. They are doing something in art. They are confident. They believe in the future. And, uh, yeah, I'm jealous of <laughs> this generation. <laughs> Armenia's new internet generation. They are talented, ambitious, and they have just been handed the keys to the castle. The most surprising is They're when so they awful. come here, they're different. Suddenly everything changes. Uh, it's amazing. It's the power of what we have created. We're at Tumo Center for Creative Technologies, located on a shiny new campus overlooking Yerevan. <laughs> this revolutionary new school turned Armenian education on its head when it opened its doors three years ago. Armenia doesn't have natural resources. Our borders are closed right now. I hope that'll change soon. But right now, our link to the outside world is through to virtual, uh, virtual networks. So. In a country still trying to retool its economy, state educational resources can only go so far. TUMO has helped fill in the gaps. It's really crazy to see something like this exist here, but it's also a beautiful illustration of the developing country that Armenia is. So it's an after-school university. It's a glorified after-school program. The idea is to get the entire figure down on paper in two minutes. A non-profit venture funded by an Armenian couple living in the United States, TUMO is free for students. The goal? Create a unique learning environment that gives children their best chance to make it in a digital world. When we started, uh, we thought about, one, a big space. Like, not to affect a few people, a few kids, but mass. Uh, that was important. It should be somewhere where you feel comfortable, where it's all about you and what you are creating on your screen. They have the opportunity to explore the areas that, that are interested in. Students can focus on computer animation, web development, game development, or digital media. The classwork is designed to inspire Armenia's next generation of creators. We pride ourselves on the fact that the majority of our students in the music team they have zero background in music. What matters for us is kind of that passion and the drive. So they come in here wanting to learn, and then we start from there. And the results can be stunning, whether it's hands-on workshops like this, or the production of original music videos, the level of expertise and talent shines through. <laughs> is going to be the music scene everything that we're exposing them to think about it they're 15 years old you know 
Five years from now, they'll be 20 and they'll start working. Me rotation, me rotation. And that's really what it's all about, setting Armenian kids up for real-world jobs. Tumo brings that opportunity right in-house by renting the top floors out to tech startups. The kids aspire to work in companies like the ones are literally for the, the companies upstairs. They see a, a, their future right above them. Pixar is the number one photo editor, especially on, uh, on Android. 50 million users around the world are using our product on a monthly basis to create something cool and share to the world. Armenian success story Pixar is already expanding on Tumo's top floor. By combining outside investment and local talent, they have built a company that is competing on an international scale. Startups and innovation is going to be like a very important part of you know country recovery, if you want. I, I'm happy to be part of it. Yeah. So where does all this brain power come from? Many Armenians point to their love of chess. Chess and the Armenians aspiration to be excellent in chess speaks more about people's mindset and their respect for intellectual pursuits. Across town, in a much different after-school program, parents gather to watch their children match wits and willpower at the country's elite chess academy. These are the best and the brightest, aspiring grandmasters who come from schools across Armenia, where chess is now a required class. Even in this high technology age, people need to think. If you are not trained to think from young age, you can't make correct decisions. Like Tumo, the coaches here try